Hello, my name is Paul Dowsall. I write historical fiction and I'd like to talk to you about my latest book, which is called The Great Revolt. Set in medieval times, my main character is Tilda Rolfe, who is a 14-year-old peasant girl from the village of Aylesford in Kent. In 1381, she finds herself front and centre in the great upheaval known as the Peasants' Revolt. Travelling to London, she's caught up in the chaos the revolt creates and needs every ounce of her strength, intelligence and courage to survive. Tilda knows who she is and what she's worth. She wants more to a life than endless farm work, the prospect of one of the village oafs for her husband, motherhood and the ever-present fear of death that accompanies the birth of a child. Most of all, she wants to be able to read and write and find out more about the world outside the narrow confines of her village. As the story progresses, Tilda realises the opportunities presented by this great uprising may never come again, and she and her father set off with thousands of other peasants to present their demands for a better life to Richard II, the King of England. They are taking a great risk, leaving behind everything they know and facing the very real risk of death from the king's men and from the forces of anarchy the rebellion ignites. I'd like to read you an extract from the book um, in which Tilda and Thomas, her father, are approaching London for the first time. The smell was like nothing she had ever experienced in her life. They were near enough now to notice the ground around them littered with debris, everything from piles of rotten wood and discarded furniture to animal bones. Dogs and pigs rooted around, some eagerly digging their jaws into rotting meat, indifferent to the clouds of flies that had settled there. Great fat rats scurried in and out of the rubble, unafraid of the other creatures around them. There were piles of human waste too, and worse. Among the debris of the city were human remains, bodies strung up on gallows left to rot as a warning to anyone entering the city with criminal intent. Tilda shuddered at their grinning skulls, all that was left of faces picked clean by crows. Some of these dangling bodies were so withered by the elements you could see the blackened sinews and yellowing bones beneath their decaying clothes. Tilda suppressed an urge to retch and longed for the fresh air and fields of Kent. I'm giving talks in schools, um, either real talks, um, all virtual talks, whatever suits you. You can find out more by visiting my website, pulldowswell.com. Thank you.